Hey everyone, so today I am doing a Vilak tutorial. I can't remember if that's how you pronounce it or not. Anyway, it's off the conjuring this for Halloween. So here I am. Anyway, this character is off The Conjuring 2. Loved the movie. Such a good movie. I really recommend it. Hey guys, so it is almost lunchtime. I've just been working and, you know, doing all the normal morning routine stuff today. I just thought I'd start vlogging now. I've got so much mail to open later, so I'm definitely going to do that with you guys. Um, and then the rest of the day is literally going to be spent editing. I've actually told my family member I'm going to, like, see her tomorrow. Um, she was doing so freaking well um, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. It was amazing to see, like, the best I have seen her this entire time. I'm really, really stoked. So hopefully we're on the way up. You know, it'll be really good if they can get out of hospital soon and into, like, physio and, like, the star unit and stuff like that. It'll be so, so nice. So fingers crossed. Like, that was just a huge relief. So I'm going to see them tomorrow. Gave her um, the, what's it called? All the baking I did. She was stoked. So stoked. I don't know if she's tried it yet, so hopefully it tastes good, but she was just so happy, so that was totally worth it. Also, I really need to clean my room, but I don't know if I'm going to get any time to do it today. This is that top I got the other day. If you watched my Snapchat, I think it was from like Princess Polly or something. I love it. Anyways, oh my gosh. Yesterday, I basically had the hugest like, I don't even know what it was. It was like, I just accidentally hit um, stop recording. Anyways, I don't know what it was, but I basically felt like I had a mental breakdown last night. So my family were coming over for dinner and I just got so unreasonably angry at Hamish. Like, not like ridiculously angry, but just like really like effed off at stuff that wasn't even like he wasn't even trying to do on purpose or anything you know just getting real agitated it's probably a better word and then i just like started bawling my eyes out i went into my room and started like hyperventilating i couldn't breathe properly i was so like panicky and like i think it was just like all of the stress just like came out and hamish was like holy shit Shannon, why don't you talk to me about these things so this doesn't happen i'm like i don't even know like Ugh, I've just got so much on my mind and like so today I was like I need to just stay home and I need to just get some work done like my family member is feeling a little bit better so I need to just you know work on some of my stuff to make myself feel a little bit less stressed. I know that sounds like my priorities aren't straight but my family member does understand like I know that sounds really weird now they say it out loud but yeah so today i'm just spending the day editing and just getting some stuff ready so that when it comes to me going over to bali in like a week and a half i can actually for the most part just blob out and just zone out and relax and not do too much work like i'm definitely going to do a bit because i might do some vlogs and instagram and stuff like that you know but so that I'm not stressed about like not enough videos going up or like whatever. And I want to try and get enough videos like up while I'm gone. So that's my goal today is just to get a few videos edited. So tomorrow, which is Friday, I can just, you know, see what I'm missing. Fill in some more Halloween tutorials, like film a couple more. And then next week, again, I can sit down and edit and figure out exactly what I'm doing. On top of like, obviously, my family member being in the hospital and me pre-recording for while I'm gone to Bali and then three days later to Fiji and then less than a month later over to Italy and Amsterdam for three weeks. Oh my god. <laughs> On top of that, um, we're actually doing a lot of stuff with Exo Beauty at the moment, which is going to become quite obvious to you guys soon. Yay. On top of we're trying to find a bigger warehouse and like we were like, do we lease? Do we buy? And we've been looking at a lot of properties, um, you know, while I haven't been vlogging and that's been a little bit crazy um a lot to think about and you know a lot of big decisions to be made and then what else have i been doing oh god another secret project two things like one thing's not so much a secret project but a deal i'm working on with a really huge company that i'm hoping will pull through that you guys have actually been asking for i don't know if that's too big of a hint i don't know and then working on a collab with a really exciting company which you guys are going to die when you see it um, and it's not what you would expect, I think. And it's not the secret highlighter and it's not secret lipsticks or anything. That is something different. So there's just so much going on in my life. And like, I'm so incredibly grateful and so, like, I can't even describe to you how excited I am. Like, I am just 
so happy that you know my hard work over the last few years is paying off big time and I'm achieving so many of my dreams and goals like you guys anything can happen you guys watching this like if you think oh my god Shannon like she's so lucky her life is so cool like blah 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 any of you guys can achieve what I've achieved like you guys need to just believe in yourselves and chase your dreams because that's exactly what I did and it's paying off you know it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and sacrifices here and there but honestly like just go for whatever you want to do you know whether it's YouTube or whether it's something completely different it's exciting and amazing and so exciting as it is um it's just been a lot to deal with at once Hence me having, like, literally having to cut down my vlogs because I would not be able to take it. Like, I would literally have a full-on breakdown. Like, last night times 100, I reckon. Like, last night was pretty bad. But, you know, luckily it was over quickly. Hamish was lovely. And we got some food. <laughs> my family came over and we had a really good night. But for my mental health, like, jeez. It's been rough enough. Like, I guess if my family member wasn't in hospital, I would be dealing with it a lot better. But just... It's horrible. You, I'm sure most of you guys know what it's like to have a really close person to you in hospital. And it's just horrible. It's just shit. But yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying to put up like, you know, two vlogs a week or so. I'm trying to do like two or three and build my way up a little bit. But I don't think I'm ever going to get back to doing it daily vlogs permanently again. Because... I just have too much on my plate and YouTube is something I never want to give up no matter what else I'm doing. Well, I mean, I can't say never because, you know, when I'm older, when I have kids and stuff, who knows, maybe I'll stop doing YouTube videos, but I don't know that at this stage. I'm just saying in like the foreseeable future, I don't want to stop doing YouTube videos and I know like a lot of people and I'm not hating on them because I can totally see why they do it and I'm happy for anyone that has success through YouTube, but I can see why a lot of people that, you know, get all these like other side projects on the way and they get like brand deals and they get like all these amazing opportunities I can see why they completely just leave YouTube in the back burner but for me I don't want to stop doing YouTube like I love YouTube like YouTube is what makes me happy making videos literally cheers me up you guys have seen me like when I am down I film videos like I put on makeup it's like my thing and I love my YouTube channel I love the community I love my viewers I love chatting to them on Twitter like chatting to you guys on Twitter and everything and I love doing these vlogs so you know if I was trying to daily vlog and everything I wouldn't be able to pursue these other opportunities and like it's just a bit of time management you know and I don't want to really cut down my main channel videos but I have thought about it occasionally like just doing two a week instead of three but then when I think about it I'm like I don't want to do that but I don't know I guess the further along I get I need to just reevaluate what I'm doing and try to decide where my attention needs to go you know like taking away the whole 2 p.m Monday Wednesday Friday was really good I still upload every Monday Wednesday Friday on my main channel but you know not a certain time so it's really good you know if I have a priority I can push that video back to later in the day and it's not a big deal I still get the video up but it just means that I'm not so stressed like trying to meet deadlines and stuff hopefully you guys don't mind me venting to the camera like this is like I've said it so many times but it's so like therapeutic to like put my words into the camera and then listen to myself once again when I'm editing it you know and it being like yeah that's right Shannon you know it's like really like good for me to vent and take it in over and over again every time I watch it back I don't know but yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know where my head's at um my mental health is not amazing lately like I'm not saying I have any kind of mental health problem I'm just saying I'm stressed and I'm letting silly things, you know, get on my mind when they shouldn't be. So yeah, um, hopefully by the end of the year, most of these intense tasks I'm talking about that are secretive will be on their way. By the way, I didn't even address, like I've got pimple cream all over my face. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully early next year, a lot of this stuff will be done. And I'll be able to just relax and enjoy what I've done and just enjoy the process and just, you know, enjoy the feedback and everything. Hopefully the feedback is good. <laughs> but I will never stop. I will always be working on stuff. You guys can expect that from me. <laughs> oh, and the uh, limited edition EXO Beauty brushes that I've told you about on here, they are on their way, like not to New Zealand. They are being made at the moment and I am, like I can't describe how stoked I am. Like not just because they're my own brushes, but I genuinely think these are some of the coolest limited edition like patterned brushes I've ever seen in my life. I am so, so excited. I saw this come up on my um, 
Twitter and I don't know if people are trolling. They must be, like that is yellow. People are gonna troll me in the comments now and people are like, how are people seeing yellow? It's definitely red. They're trolling me, right? They're trolling. Now cooking is some walnuts as well. Lunch is served. I'm gonna add some chia seeds as well and some balsamic. All right, I have edited two videos and a vlog, so I'm going to take a quick break and show you guys my mail. This lighting's really bad. So here's some of the mail. I've got some normal mail and some PO box mail. As always, well, as I have been lately, I'm not really gonna open um, the letters on camera because I like to read them in my own time, but I'll open some of the bigger things because I know some of them are companies. Um, so I'll do some of them, but anyways, let's do this. All right, first of all, Kmart. What's in here? Kmart, if you guys didn't know, in New Zealand is incredible. It's like one of our best stores, like that sounds nuts, but I know in America, I'm pretty sure people say it's like really garbage, but over here it's like really good and really cheap. Hi, Louis and so We noticed how cute you guys are on Instagram, so I thought we would send you some of the latest Halloween costumes from Kmart and some other goodies. I have to take a photo. Oh my God, look, it's a strawberry. It's got a little hat. You're not gonna like that. <laughs> you are gonna be so lucky where he wants it. His pig, because we bought him a pig like this, but it broke and it doesn't squeak anymore. Or oh, oink, really, look. Zeus, you got a new piggy. You got a new piggy. Louis taken off with it. These are Zeus's favorite, aren't they? Those are your favorite. <laughs> We just tell you, Zeus, are these your favorite? He's like, get them out now! These are your favorite. These are your favorite. Oh! And his chicken! Wow, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. We're gonna have to do another donation of your old toys, I think, because you've oh. got too many. Too many for your own good, don't you? He's stoked. Oh my God, I die. Oh my God, I cannot wait. Cute. Ah, 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 ah. Human consumption only. Thank you so much, Kmart. I am so excited to dress you up, Louie. Like you have no idea. You're not gonna be happy. No, you're not. <laughs> they don't really like wearing clothes that often. Like he doesn't mind his jersey sometimes, but oh. outfits they're not a huge fan of. But they make very good um, photo opportunities. <laughs> I have bought a lot of stuff off once it lately, so I have no idea what this one is because it all kind of comes at different times. They've got lots of sales. I've got the link down below if you haven't visited once it's a New Zealand website. This is a bag that I got from Bell and Bloom. I think the brand is. Look how cute this is got like a gold strap how cute is that it'd be so cute for like festivals and stuff i'm so excited next up cute minis like mini setting sprays for like travel and then that slay all day t-shirt slay all day setting spray and grapefruit and what is this oh a small slay all day setting spray in the sh i was gonna say in the shade <laughs> in cucumber I bought these off Trade Me for my Halloween um, tutorial, like my, uh, god, what am I trying to say? The mermaid tutorial. It's the blue ones and white ones. More latex, because mine dried out, as I found when I was trying to film my um, demon look, was it? Yeah, my demon look. It was so chunky, so I got a new one. Nice and runny. More gems for a mermaid look. And then all of the lip ammunition, I think these are called, by Jeffree Star. Yeah, they are because you guys wanted to see a lip swatch video. So when they came out, I bought every single shade so I can do swatches for you guys. So I'll probably film that when I get back from um, Bali or Fiji. Something from MAC. 
This is the MAC Selena collection. And this is an eyeshadow in the shade Missing My Baby. And then the lipsticks are Amor Prohibido. I can't pronounce that. Como La Flor. That one there's like a really dark red. And then the first one I said is a nude color. So pretty, I love the packaging. I'm curious to see what this is because I still have so much protein. So I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a different flavor, chocolate. Can't wait to try it. Still though, that breast cancer one, it's my favorite flavor. It tastes so good. It's like coconut vanilla, I think. But I'm excited to try this. I haven't tried chocolate protein before. This is from Lestage. This is in my PO box. There's a couple of like lip glosses, I guess. They're really pretty looking. So the pink one is Lady Allure and then, oh, that sounded really American. And then the other one is Lady Dreamy. I already know what this is because she emailed me to make sure it, it arrived okay and I checked my peer box and it was there but I already posted a picture on um, my Instagram my more Shanexo Instagram so she wrote me a really really sweet little um, letter she just said accept this portrait of your beautiful daughters thanks for creating such an entertaining and wonderful video I am framing this 100% that looks just like Louis and Zeus look how cute oh my god Honestly, you guys, if you have a pet loving friend, this is like the perfect gift to get them. If you're wondering what her website is, all of the information is down at the bottom. So you can screenshot or take a photo of the screen or something. I also got sent some of this Epiology stuff made in the Waikato, New Zealand. So they sent me a. What is this? Anti acne cream, reduces redness, um, pre wash acne foaming cleanser thing, I guess. And then this spot gel as well. So thank you so much, Becky, for the nice gift. Next up, I got this. Hi, Shannon. I hope this parcel finds you well. Please enjoy these Revlon professional goodies and let me know if you love the new... What does that say? I'm so sorry. I don't know what that word is. Um, Asia Range plus the extra hair presents. Revlon professional Australia. Thank you so much, Revlon. Let's have a look. Orofluido? 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 I don't know. Anyways. Zen Control Mask shampoo and conditioner and control elixir for exceptional fizz control elasticity and smoothness that sounds really cool these would be good to take with me to italy or something like that and then underneath ooh, there is some um, all-in-one hair treatment coconut Ooh, sounds cool smooth conditioner i didn't even know revlon did shampoo and conditioner to be honest 45 day total colour care, sulfate free shampoo and condition 2 in 1 for ice blondes, cool. And a unique one, hair and scalp conditioning shampoo. Thank you so much Revlon, that was really nice of you. Guys, this blonde shampoo stuff, it smells like bubblegum. Oh my god, this smells amazing. So good. This package here was from Brittany from America, she just started her own Etsy shop. Brittany Boutique Co. And she sent me one of her bath fizzies, which is in here. I don't want to unwrap it because I think it may have broken. So thank you so much anyway. I'll have to try that next time I have a bath. Look, Louis has an ear and he's just marching around the entire house trying to find somewhere to bury it. I know where it is. This is one of my mum's favourite shops in Balmy. <laughs> They've sent me something. Hi Shannon, enclosed us some gifts from us. We chose a dusty pink necktie and two locally made products. A candle and a wooden heart as a showcase of some of our amazing gift ideas. We are open seven days. We're happy to open outside normal trade hours if you wish to do a Christmas shopping peacefully. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's have a look. So here's the candle. Strawberries and champagne. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh my god, that's good. Okay, if you live in Palmy, go smell this and tell me what you think. That smells great. It smells real fresh but still sweet. Um, and then this cute little dangly heart. Oh my gosh, I'm going to save this for when I have a beach house. I feel like this is like the perfect beach house looking like decoration to hang on the wall. Oh god, my camera's flashing dead already. It was fully charged this morning. What's happening? And this is the necktie. It feels really soft, like real silky. So I guess it's like a necklace or something. I'm not quite sure. I have to experiment. But anyway, thank you, Streets Ahead. That was really nice of you. By the way, here are the letters I have received um, since last time. So if you recognize your handwriting, then you know I've got your letter. So I'm going to read them tonight. I was sent some of this Tyra Beauty Light in a Stick and Sculpt in a Stick product. So I have to try that out. Two Shannon Harris from La Femme Beauty. Thank you. 
Hi Shannon, just wanted to say thank you for everything. It was lovely working with you. Oh, that's so nice. I did a Facebook video with them. Ooh, I like this color. Your Ted Baker um, goodies. Look at this. It's like a little like case. I feel like you could put your phone in there or something and cards and everything. Oh my gosh. I love it. Thank you. And then this box has stickers on the front. Here we go. What on earth is this? Oh, it's one of those little things. Some more like notebook things. Key ring. What on earth is that? Is it lollies? <laughs> Zeus, do you want to go for a walk? 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 <laughs> it's a big lily over there. I feel like doing something fun, but I just don't know what. Come on! Oh, hello! <laughs> Who's that? He's big. He's big. <laughs> Some big dogs he's okay with, but you can tell when he looks at them if he's going to be scared. Lily! Oh, where's he going? Go away. Come on! <laughs> I want to try pet him. Oh. <laughs> Oh, go away. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> hey. He doesn't want to kiss me. Horses scare the shit out of me, by the way. <laughs> it's okay when they're behind a fence, but I wouldn't want to be in there with them. Look at that happy face. Do you have a good time? Do you have a good time? <laughs> me and Hamish just did all the recycling, filled up the bins one day. They were empty before. <sighs> this is why I've stopped doing my mail every single day. Otherwise, we end up having rubbish lying around everywhere. I need like another recycling bin. <laughs> we're buying Chris his birthday present. You guys won't see this till after his birthday, so it's safe. But we're going to get him a putter because his one currently, what's wrong with it? It's not very good. Yeah, too well, small. too small for him. Getting another mouth guard because my last one I chewed through <laughs> when I was grinding my teeth. There's not many now. This one's good. What about that Wilson? There's a Wilson one there. We're at Cafe Cuba for dinner. We thought we might as well stop because it's 6.48. This is my girl crush by the way. Corn fritters and salad as always. This is like my one meal lately. Hey Lily, should we do a face mask? Do you want to put one on with me? I'm not taking you for a W-A-L-K. You've already been. I feel like doing a face mask is like two pimples that friggin' popped up on my face this morning. And of course, I couldn't help myself. We love Chanoi biscuits. pig under there. Mm. I swear Zeus is half pig. There he is. Hey, gentle. <laughs> Get him Zeus. Tell him who's boss. Look how cute you are. You're the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life. So on my face I have Glam Glow because I haven't used it in so long. So I was like, eh, I'm gonna use that. I put on my T-zone and like where I get pores sometimes and then you can't see, but on the rest of my face I've got the what's it called? The Thirsty Mud or something by Glam Glow as well. And then once I've taken this off, I'm gonna put the hydrating mask on everywhere. Ah, oh, it feels so good. I love like the feeling of Glam Glow when it's like real tight and it's just like <laughs> my eyelashes are so long right now. I need to get them dyed again. I usually get them done every time I get my nails done, but last time um, I didn't have time because I wanted to rush off. Did I ever show you guys these nails? I can't even remember. I would have on Instagram. I'm falling asleep right now watching this documentary, so I'll say goodnight now. Night. <laughs>